If you're water cooling your system, you need a radiator. Now you're gonna to need to clean that before you use it. But let's find out how and why. Hello, I'm Guy and this is Guy Robot. I'm currently rebuilding my main machine and I've decided to make it my first water cooled system. Now there's already a video up about the overall build and I'm going to talk about my water cooling decisions in more detail in my next video. But for now I wanted to do a quick video about radiator cleaning. It turns out that manufacturing radiators is a bit of a messy, messy process. Bits of metal, solder and flux end up stuck inside the radiator and they come loose over time. There's also grease that builds up during the manufacturing process. All of this is bad news for water cooling. Any particles ending up in your GPU or CPU blocks could reduce cooling efficiency and then there's also a greater chance of loop contamination. I'm going to be using pastel fluid in my loop, which seems from what I've read particularly fussy about cleanliness. To make sure I don't run into unexpected problems, I decided I'm definitely going to go with a full radiator clean rather than chancing it. There are professional cleaning kits available, but I thought I'd take the simpler route and follow a guide I found online. A shout out here goes to onorampage.net, who put together a great guide that I mostly followed and describing here. First, I filled the radiator halfway with about 80 degree water. I just used tap water here and boiled it. I used the plugs I bought to stop the liquid coming out, and then I let the water circulate around by moving it with my hands, and then I left it to sit for five minutes. After which I drained it and a bunch of metal and stuff came out. Next, I used the green silic bang as a degreaser. I mixed one third of silic bang to two thirds of cold water and put enough to fill the radiator halfway. I then shook it some more, filled it up to the top and then I let it sit for five minutes. Emptied it out, washed it out under a tap and then also I did off camera a bunch of cleaning it under the shower as well just to get everything out of it. It came out a bit kind of blue coloured for this stage. Next up was the orange silic bang but I just repeated the same process. One third of silic bang, two things water. Part fill the radiator, shake it, add the rest, and then let it sit for five minutes before emptying out and cleaning it. Make sure it's not longer than five minutes though, as this is quite potent stuff and you don't want to damage the radiator. Finally, it was time to do the boiled water flush again and repeat the first step. I had to do this a couple of times until stuff stopped coming out the radiator. After I completed it the final time, I also rinsed the whole lot under the tap in the shower just to make sure I got everything out. And then that was it, job done. It definitely took me a fair bit of time, it was probably about an hour in all, but it does mean that my loop has the best possible start to its life as none of the gunk will be interfering with my cooling. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, leave me a like and hit subscribe and let me know your tips for radiator cleaning in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at GuyRobotTV and I'll see you in my next video talking in much more detail about my custom water cooling loop. Thanks.